Jerry Singerock, born on May 5, 1956, was a career soldier who had risen through the ranks of the Papua New Guinea Defense Force, including a time as commander of the forces on Bougainville. He began his career at Moem Barracks in the East Sepik province of Papua New Guinea, as an infantryman on the 1st Royal Pacific Islands Regiment. After military service there he was rotated to Igum Barracks Joint Officer Service College in Ley, Morabe province, where he trained as a commissioned officer. Singerok trained and lectured in Dintroon Military Academy in Australia on land warfare tactics in military science, before being requested back to the PNGDF on strict orders during the height of the Sandline Crisis with the rank of captain. In the mid-1990s, he was promoted to Brigadier General and given the rank of commander. He was later promoted to the rank of Major General of the PNGDF in the late 1990s during his second stint as commander. In 1996, Tim Spicer, an ex-colonel in the Scots Guards, who had recently founded the mercenary firm Sandline International, met with Singerock. Spicer attempted to persuade Singerok to support a package of military support that Spicer had negotiated with then Defense Minister, Matthias I.J. Singerok declined, but the deal went ahead anyway, with the support of I.J., Prime Minister Sir Julius Chain and Deputy Prime Minister Chris Hyvetta. It is on March 8, he asked Major Walter Enuma to command the operation. Enuma agreed. On the night of March 16, Singerok's soldiers swooped. They arrested Spicer, the mercenaries, and their support staff. The next morning, Singerok went on national radio and accused Prime Minister Julius Chain, Defense Minister IJ, and Deputy Prime Minister Hyveta of corruption and gave them 48 hours to resign. It is therefore only logical that I cannot back down on the call for this Prime Minister and the, the ministers who are implicated to resign from their ministerial offices. He also fiercely denied allegations that he was aiming to take power himself. Chain refused to resign and the same day sacked Singerok as commander of the PNGDF, replacing him with the controversial Colonel Alfred Icahn. Insubordination cannot be tolerated. The government has acted. The Executive Council has decided that he should be removed. And we have appointed Mr. Alfred Icahn, and he's been supported by the ranks and files of the Defense Force. That was the end of Singerok S direct role in the crisis that followed. However, Enuma carried out Singerok's plans in his absence. In the days that followed, the mercenaries were deported, the parliament was surrounded, and Chain, Ijape, and Hyveta were all forced to stand down. So, Mrs. Speaker, in the interest and for the good, and in order to defuse what is <clears throat> something that I consider to be a little bit explosive outside, I myself will step aside. Singerok went public with several serious corruption allegations against Chain's government. Yeah, international terrorists, as far as I'm concerned. Read in the Crown Law. They go to third world countries and make those third world countries become banana republics. They will make national forces become totally useless. That's what they nearly did here. This force must continue to protect the sovereignty and defend its people, right? Yeah! 
chain stood again at the following election, but in the wake of the affair and Singe Rock's allegations, not only lost power, but also his seat in parliament. Following the affair, Singe Rock was dismissed from his position. He faced several inquiries into the events. He was subsequently reappointed in 1998, but dismissed again in 2000 over the same events, after another inquiry. The 2000 inquiry found Singe Rock guilty of secretly receiving 52,000 US dollars through his Visa card account in the London-based Lloyds Bank. He was also found guilty of failing to obtain an exemption from the Ombudsman Commission for the payments he received. Singe Rock also faced criminal sedition charges stemming from his radio broadcast of March 17, 1997, stating that he had launched a military revolt to get the mercenaries out of the country. Finally, in March 2004, he was cleared of all other charges. Though his name has been sullied somewhat by the bribery allegations, many still credit Singe Rock with the end of the Bougainvillian War, which occurred soon after the ousting of the Chain government. It took 20 years for former commander of the PNG Defense Force Major General Jerry Singe Rock, retired, to finally write down first-hand accounts of the Sandline Affair and the bloody Bougainville crisis between the early 1980s and the 1990s. In his 600-page memoir book titled A Matter of Conscience, Operation Rosim Quick, retired Major Singe Rock said it tells explicitly and compellingly how he resisted operational orders of the then government led by Sir Julius Chain to expel Sandline mercenaries from the country. Singe Rock said as a 39-year-old commander-in-chief of the PNG Defense Force during the Bougainville crisis, his turning point was the Kango Beach massacre where 12 soldiers were killed. He said the Operation Rosim Quick succeeded because of the 12 men he personally handpicked to execute the plan, adding, I am only as good as the men around me. The book which was officially launched on Thursday, October 20, 2022 at the Hilton Hotel in Port Moresby was well received at home and abroad. Published under Partage Publishing Singapore, it has already gained international interest and has piqued the interest of Hollywood directors with its enigmatic plot. This book is heading into the Hollywood screens for a fact. That opportunity, the first for a Papua New Guinean, came on February 24 when Jerry Singe Rock traveled to the US to pitch his book at the Beverly Hills Hilton only 10 kilometers east of the famed Hollywood Studios. The pitch was done before multi-billion dollar movie directors and screenwriters to sell his book, with a five-minute speech in front of these tycoons, in the hope that the plot will be juicy enough for one of them to offer a contract for the script. In an exclusive interview with Mr. Singe Rock, he said that his entry and journey into Hollywood was not about him but about saving and serving humanity, the people of Bougainville, the soldiers that stood tall with him and PNG as a whole. I am really humbled, excited is not the word. It is a journey I never predicted in my life. My journey to Hollywood is about serving humanity and I believe, as a soldier, I was sworn to honor the country with loyalty and God, duty, honor and country, he said. It is to tell the story that we soldiers can save the country, it is about the people of Bougainville, the brave soldiers that stood with me and our Papua New Guinea. And today with my integrity still intact, the people in Bougainville are free and live in harmony. Bougainvillians voted overwhelmingly in a referendum in late 2019 agreeing to break away from PNG and form a new country. While many Papua New Guineans have had their own luck at movie acting, 
None has ever made it to the Hollywood silver screen except for Bougainvillian William Takaku, who played Man Friday alongside former James Bond actor Pierce Brosnan, in a recreation of the 1970s epic Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe, starring Brosnan and Takaku, was shot in Madang. On Operation Rosim Quick's 26th anniversary, Jerry Singerock finally announced that three of the 15 movie directors have responded.